From the Fox 10 Gulf Stream, this is Next Weather. Well, the heat wave keeps rolling on and we hit 96 degrees. We've been 96 or hotter for 15 days in a row at Mobile Regional Airport. So it's a two week heat wave and it will continue. And we did tie a record high in Pensacola at 97 degrees today, two degrees away from a record in Mobile. And the heat index is going to get a lot worse, especially than what we saw today. It'll be up around 112 on Thursday and Friday and then up to 115 on Saturday and near that on Sunday. So the heat wave is building as this ridge, which is currently just to our south over the Gulf, that's the cause of the heat wave. It causes the air to sink and dry out and heat up. Unfortunately, still real muggy at the surface because it's August and you know, Friday and Saturday, this thing could be basically right on top of us or just a bit to the west. And so we're going to be heavily under its influence. And when you're on the east side of an upper ridge, that is never good. And that'll be the case through Monday. We do have a heat advisory for tomorrow. There are excessive heat warnings for our neighbors to the west, and that includes Jackson County, Mississippi. We will likely see excessive heat warnings for our part of the Gulf Coast by the weekend and the predicted heat index for tomorrow afternoon is going to be up around 110 between 111 and 108. You can see on the map there, so it certainly looks like a scorcher. If you're thinking about going to the beach to cool off, the surf is rough and it'll be that way most likely into the weekend with a strong southwesterly wind flow. And we are looking at a medium rip current risk and we also have a lot of jellyfish out there too. So problems with that. Here's a look at the 24 hour temperatures. We drop down into the lower 80s by daybreak tomorrow morning. That's it for overnight lows and then back up into the upper 90s tomorrow afternoon. Our extended forecast. The heat wave stays strong. Isolated showers Thursday and Friday. Scattered rain on Saturday and Sunday. Now if we can get some clear skies over the weekend that may allow us to better see a meteor shower. We're going to hear more about that from meteorologist Jennifer Lambers and I'll break down the tropics. They're really quiet. Why are they quiet? We'll look at that coming up. Can I play? Sure, but you need to win your own truck. That's not a problem. The Fox 10 Storm Tracker Fleet. Taking you live to more places, covering the Gulf Coast like no one else can. Unrivaled experience, unparalleled severe weather coverage. I think I need a bigger sandbox. All right, it's August and here's what we're tracking. You know, an active hurricane month typically, but the first couple weeks in August can still be just about as slow as June and July. Really, it's the back half of August that we normally see activity ramping up and we don't see anything developing in the next seven days in the tropics. Here's a look at how often we see storms and when we see the most storms and you can see we're right in here very right about the first half of August. Not a lot going on, but it is a little increase from June and July. And then we get into the back half of the month and into September, which is incredibly active and even early October, which is more active than it is right now. So storm frequency shows that we've got a long ways to go with this tropical season. We're just really finishing the preseason and entering the active part of the season. If we see things developing this time of the year, it could be in the Gulf or the Caribbean Sea, but we're also opening up potentially the Atlantic for development along what we call the ITCZ, the intertropical convergence zone and also in the western Atlantic. And the reason why we're not seeing anything along the intertropical convergence zone. These waves are coming off of Africa, but we're also seeing big dust plumes coming off the Sahara Desert in Africa. And so that's really putting a lid on development, having this dry, dusty air, very stable over the central Atlantic and that's keeping the waves from forming. The upper level winds are somewhat favorable for development. We've got a couple of streaks of shear out there, one right off the Caribbean, but not a ton of shear in the Caribbean Sea. So if something were to form, it would feed off of a low shear and warm water environment. Sea surface temperatures are way above normal. We've got low 80s and then middle 80s here in the central Atlantic, a couple of degrees above average. Some water temperatures in the Gulf are scorching hot uh, with the water temperatures running in the upper 80s over most of the Gulf, right around 87 degrees. But 
we do have that dry, dusty air, so that's why we're not seeing anything tropical yet, but we could see some strong storms later. What's the forecast? Well, let's break it down. So this is the probability if you're in this this red striped line here, there is a little less than a 20% chance of tropical development that's going to be through the 22nd in the central Atlantic and then that formation zone is going to shift a little closer to the northern leeward islands in the Bahamas as we get into the last couple of weeks in August but we're not seeing any real high tropical cyclone probabilities in the Gulf of Mexico or the Caribbean or the Atlantic. That's mostly over in the Pacific. So we're just going to continue to watch these maps and see what happens and battle our heat wave in the meantime. So let's talk about a celestial event. The Perseid meteor shower is ongoing now, but it's going to peak this weekend. And for more on that and where to look, here's meteorologist Jennifer Lambers. Stargazers get ready because heading into this weekend, we have the opportunity to see a meteor shower peaking. Well, heading into this weekend, we are looking to see the Perseids meteor shower. And again, this has been taking place for a few months now, but it's going to be peaking heading into this weekend, Saturday and 90 meteors per hour. Now also working on our side is that the moon, it's only going to be 10% illuminated with that waning crescent. And then also conditions heading into Saturday night could be partly cloudy with temperatures in the upper 70s, so still a little muggy out there, but making for some nice viewing. Now, talking a little bit more about these again, it's been running for a little bit now. It started mid-July, and it's going to be going till September 1st with the peak again taking place this weekend. So what are you looking for with some of these? They're going to be colorful with persistent trains, really helping to illuminate the night sky. And the best viewing time will be before dawn on both mornings. Just two years ago, I was able to watch some of these, went down to the beach, and it looked absolutely fantastic. We'll continue to keep you updated right here on Fox 10 with all the best viewing for this. But the next shot at seeing a meteor shower will come up in October. Again, we'll keep you updated right here on Fox 10, but reporting in studio, meteorologist Jennifer Lambers, Fox 10 News. And coming up, we'll have your seven day forecast. New to the Fox 10 Weather App, your 24-hour radar forecast. Be the first to see how precipitation is going to affect your plants across the Gulf Coast. Detailed hour by hour, the 24-hour radar forecast on the Fox 10 Weather App. Plus the latest breaking news with the Fox 10 News App. Got him, bro. Stay alert with Fox 10. Prime time is Fox 10 time. The latest on the night's top stories are first right on now. Fox 10 News at 9. Wrap up your day informed and ready for the morning. Here's our long range forecast and the heat wave looks like it's going to be steady for the next seven days. It'll actually get close to its peak. We think this weekend, but it may continue to be oppressively hot into early next week. Daytime highs around 98 to 99 degrees. Occasionally we'll hit 100 here. Overnight lows much closer to 80 or at 80. And we will see some scattered showers and thunderstorms. The chances are isolated tomorrow and Friday. They pick up a little on Saturday and Sunday. We're heavily under the influence of a big upper level heat ridge and so that could be problematic with heat index values above 115 by the weekend. Drink a lot of water and take some breaks and take it easy. We're battling the extreme heat here across the Gulf Coast.